Um, the door was open when I got here a little bit, I don't know. And they did leave all their lights on, which is pretty common. Um, so this is your entryway. And you can see the paneling in here that's painted. Um, it's very clean. And you can't really see the light, but with the curtains, but there'd be quite a bit of light in here. And yeah, the ceiling fan. Not great for migraines, but good for other reasons, right? A uh, little coat closet up here. Pretty standard size. So from here, I'm gonna go into the kitchen. All right, so one thing while I'm looking at it right now, I just wanna point out is that there's a little bit, you know, they put, it's a nice floor actually. Um, I like the laminate. There's a couple places that maybe uh, you'd want to repair or fix on the way that it's been installed. Um, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way too. I don't know where the light is. So your laundry room is in this little space off the kitchen. Another closet, washer dryer, and some storage. Okay, picking up where we left off. If it gives you a little sense too, I kind of want you to see size of the living room. Always look at the furniture. A couple little things. Small. It's some um, aesthetics. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. All right, so if I'm at the sink, you can see also this is a little bit of an older faucet. We can see into the backyard. So a little bit newer windows. These are not the aluminum ones, which is nice. And you'll get a little sun if you happen to be standing here doing dishes, which I imagine you will at some point. Um, a decent amount of cupboard space. And then of course your dining room, which is attached to the kitchen. I'm gonna kind of all right, so I'm still in the kitchen. A couple of things we want to look at here. Um, this wall right here is a supporting wall, so you might be able to do what people, some people are making a window and like a breakfast bar to make it more open to the living room, but that also might be a little bit weird because it's pretty much where your TV has to go. Not totally, but it's just something to think about. I don't know if that matters to you so much. Here's our thermostat. Uh, the furnace might be a little bit older, but the thermostat is not. You can see here's your uh, evaporative air cooler. It's not in bad shape, actually. I've seen a lot of them have kind of stains when they're dirty, but this one's not bad. The ones don't really care about that too much. It's kind of a hassle when you're living in a house and you have to show it, it's hard. Um, I'm thinking that that's a ceiling fan, but yeah, that's good. I don't like bathrooms without ceiling fans because, you know, you get mold. So, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and open this closet. I think it's everything that you'd probably imagine, right? Uh, this family's done everything that their realtor told them to for sure. Left the lights on for the showing, even though um, it's nice when the windows are open during the day. But I can tell they put a lot of stuff in the closets to keep the room sort of open. Um, I'm guessing maybe they're moving or they've outgrown their space. Because shoes, right? All right, so from here... I'm just going to go back out into the hall and we'll hit the other bedrooms. Um, this bedroom is right up the dining room. I don't know if that helps you have a sense of the layout, but I'm hoping it kind of does. So, going to go down this hallway next. There's a bathroom, two bedrooms, and a closet. All right, so walking from the kitchen through the dining room, another big window here. So during the day, I'm guessing a decent amount of light. I actually think these are pretty new floors. They're nice and clean. 
got a kind of an interesting transition strip here. Um, just little things. But the area is super nice. So this is bedroom one. Um, shoes. Oh my God, shoes. <laughs> Window looking out into the yard. Again, we've got, <laughs> oh, there's Scott. He does, he's trying to stay out of the video and then he did that. Little does he know. So you do have a nice uh, view out here of the yard. I like that. Plenty of light and I like that too. But the, it's still pretty standard. I'm gonna guess that this is a, not a California king, but this is a king size bed. So again, sense of space in this room. You can see that they've got their king size bed and they still have room for this little guy over here. So, you know, it's not a bad size room. And we're back. So, going to look at um, the tub. Oh, actually, not a tub. A large shower. There could be a tub, though. There you have your bars. But, um, yeah, basically a shower only situation. Again, the windows seem new. That's good. And then here's your view. Doorway out into the hall. Kind of an older um, sink, but it's not old, old. And for its age, I'd say pretty good shape. So, and then this way, and next area, it's gonna be both these bedrooms. This is headed downstairs from the hallway and uh, unfinished. So these are concrete steps. If you ever sold it again, here's the thing. They're not gonna like that this is open, right? Because somebody could fall and they're a little bit steep. They're not up to code for the current, but they would probably pass it for the age of the house. I'm gonna come back to this in a minute because I think it's important. I can kind of see there's been some patching done here. No, that looks like it might Ooh, that's be a pipe uh, leak. No, yeah, that's a Or it's coming in from the seal plate. Mm, no, I can see it right there. On it's the pipe, coming, you mm, see it? I can see it from that joint right there. It's coming right this way. It's the hose bib. Um, yeah. Yeah, it just needs to re replace that one part. Not the major though, right? No. Um, basically a great be, bunker. If this was finished, yeah, it would be. It needs to be redone and insulated as well. And then, yeah, time, time. Right. Okay, so, yes, a lot of concrete feels like a bunker. Scott, can you give me light? Um, I was wondering about the floor when I saw it. But I don't think there's been... I thought I saw some corner upstairs that looked like water damage, but maybe... Over here, I don't know. What about it? What's your question? Uh, it was the upstairs bedroom, but do you see anything down here that suggests there was any leaking? I think we're okay. I mean, not just that one house with. It's pretty much a bunker. So.